Max Cavalera was the voice of Sepultura, dark, mean and wicked. With his new band Soulfly, he's going even deeper, experimenting with his new lease of musical life. My work now is more free and um, more adventures, you know? It's more like uh, fearless of trying new things. No matter if he's going extremely um, experimental on percussion or extremely back to the roots of hardcore, of, writing, of recording a song that's 15 seconds long, just pure noise, scream, scum style. That kind of freedom or Sepultura sometimes, that freedom had a little bit of problem. Like we had to like arguments and people be fighting, oh, don't do this, don't do that. On this band, Whatever feels right, it's right, and we do it, and we just don't give a shit. Soulfly's debut album captures a multitude of influences, continuing the tribal spirit with guest appearances from many of Max's musical mates. It comes more from hip hop, have a community kind of a record, more like a tribal feeling that everybody from other bands can be in my record and I can be in other people's record, which don't happen much in the hard rock metal scene it's more individual this album is the opposite and it's very exciting when i hear to one song I have one guy like from fear factor the next one has produced by mario Caldalto from the beastie boys then the next one has benji from the war next one has chino from the deftones it's just really crazy different record when people hear they're going to be tripping already here you all set for uh max max level uh playback yeah <laughs> here we go when it came to mixing the Soulfly album, Max was unable to leave his home in Phoenix, Arizona due to his son's illness. So he did it over the phone with engineer Andy Wallace in New York. For me to leave my son or bring him to New York would be, um, you know, not the right thing. I didn't feel it was the right thing. so. We decided to come with a plan where never been done before, I never did this before, but we talk every day, kind of like three, four times a day. He plays stuff over the phone. I hear the music over the phone, and we make the changes right there on the spot, and every night he overnight a debt, and I get a debt in the morning, and I listen to it, and I call him. His concern was not so much the uh, the sound of the mix, not that he's not concerned about it, but that was what he felt confident that I would nail to his satisfaction. And I felt comfortable with that as well. He was more concerned about uh, which uh, particular bits of uh, the music uh, presentation should be featured, which should be very subliminal in the background. The beginning, no hi-hat again. Yeah. There is a hi-hat there, but I, I don't want it to be in there. He's a guy that I can talk on the phone and I can talk to like, hey man, can you turn this up or whatever, you know, and talk to him in like I talk to a band member. You know, there's no bullshit between me and him. I believe it, it would be the same as if I was there, except I'm here, but in the end, we have the final result. as just as good if I was there. Yo, man, come on. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> 